My name is H.J. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read my writing and to see my latest CNN appearances and my MSNBC and RT appearances, you can go to hjgoodman.com. I was just on Tim Black's No Sellouts, and it was awesome. Tim Black is amazing. Please subscribe to his channel. He's a great friend of mine, and it was a fantastic discussion as always. I'll be starting a new publication February 1st. Whether you're liberal, progressive, independent, conservative, you're going to love it. Meryl Streep had a typical um, phony, fake, liberal, Hillary bot, Democratic, Hillary loyalist, militant, centrist, supremacist message. I call these people the militant, centrist supremacists because they don't really stand for anything but what feels good. So whereas I voted for Jill Stein and Bernie Sanders before that, I wrote a great deal about Bernie Sanders, over 200 articles in the Huffington Post, The Hill and Salon. I was on CNN and MSNBC and RT, as you know, because I say that every segment. People like Meryl Streep are the reason Trump won. If you're a Hillary supporter right now and you are saying, oh, H.A., I don't like you, I hate you. Democratic Party spent $1.2 billion, or actually Hillary Clinton's campaign spent $1.2 billion. The FBI James Comey had a year-long criminal investigation into Hillary Clinton, where he stated Clinton was extremely careless and negligent with top-secret information. That's 22 top-secret emails and 2,000, over 2,000 retroactively classified emails from the same intelligence community that's now blaming Russia for Hillary's loss. What did Russia do? Uh, allegedly, Russia... Uh, unveiled the emails, the actual words that led to Debbie Wasserman Schultz being fired, Donna Brazil being fired from CNN, DWS being fired from the from uh, the Democratic National Committee. But do you think Debbie Was? I mean, uh, do you think Meryl Streep ever spoke about this leaked 2015 memo? Told Dems don't offer support for Black Lives Matter policy positions. This is a memo spread among Democratic officials. Doesn't matter what your thoughts are on Black Lives Matter. I happen to believe it's a noble organization. It has nothing to do with uh, racism or um, hatred of police. But as with any organization or movement, some messages get twisted. I'm not going to discuss that or address that. I certainly don't. I made a segment on this. The uh, the this the teenager who was assaulted, the white teenager who was assaulted by the four black teenagers. I do not blame Black Lives Matter, just like I wouldn't blame the alt-right or people on the right, or I wouldn't blame all white people for um, uh, the, the horrible things done. Dylan Roof killing African Americans as they pray. I wouldn't blame all white people for Dylan Roof's crime. Certainly not going to blame Black Lives Matter for. But this is a leaked 2015 memo told Dems don't offer support for Black Lives Matter policy positions. Regardless of your politics, whether you're conservative, Trump voter, Jill Stein, Bernie Sanders, the point is black voters are very important. Without black voters, you don't have a Democratic Party. You think Mer uh, Meryl Streep cares that Hillary Clinton called black youth super predators? that Hillary Clinton used racism against Barack Obama? Do you think she cares, by the way, that Loretta Lynch, this is a Guardian article, I spoke about this with Tim Black, government shouldn't require a report of police killed by people. The Attorney General, I'll read you, Attorney General Loretta Lynch says the federal government should not require police to report fatal shootings of civilians. Sharply diverging from her predecessor. So that's an act, that's actually a Republican stance on criminal justice. Do you think in terms of policies, Meryl Streep cares? You think Meryl Streep cares about, like I talked about earlier, the FBI criminal investigation of Hillary Clinton, or the fact that Hillary Clinton took money from Saudi Arabia, and Saudi Arabia uh, has laws where the LGBTQ community and women face persecution do you think that Meryl Streep cares about the wars that are ongoing? Do you think Meryl Streep cares about the close to 8,000 Americans who have died, or close to 7,000 Americans who have died in Iraq and Afghanistan, the 1 million Americans injured, 
the 50,000 plus Americans who've been uh, wounded in combat, according to iCasualty.org, but the a million American veterans who have been injured, according to VA statistics. You think she talks about that? No. So the point is, when it comes to actual policies, when it comes to Democrats using racism or using Republican tactics within the, the Democratic Party, Meryl Streep and the cushy doughy uh, middle, they're the reason that Trump won. They're the reason. So you could thank Meryl Streep for Trump winning. Because when you stand for nothing but, oh, he offended me, you get a very conservative, you get Donald Trump winning. Because a person like Trump is the absolute opposite of the Meryl Streeps of the world. And since the Meryl Streeps of the world stand for nothing, people are going to eventually say, you know what, well, at least he didn't want the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or at least he's not as hawkish as, as Hillary. The lesser evil politics works in reverse. That's why the Meryl Streeps of the world gave us Trump. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.